I think because my mom had multiple sclerosis my entire life, I never truly learned about it in a direct way, but I think I always was kind of aware that there was something that made it difficult for her to walk or for her kind of like for her nerves to work and get her body to be moving. So I think I always had a general understanding of it from a young age. On a broad level, MS has impacted me in a good way. I think it's made me more aware of people who need help, just a mo more aware of people with disabilities. I think it's part of the reason I got into the career that I got into, working with children with special needs. I think one thing that I remember most about my mom is that she always made such an effort to be present. Um, even though she was not able to do things physically that she used to be able to do, she would throw balls in the backyard for me so I could learn how to play softball because she used to play softball or I remember her teaching me how to do a volleyball roll in the middle of the living room floor. Even though she wasn't physically able to do it, she was kind of like describing it to me and volleyball is a huge part of my life. So, and I knew that she had played it. So for me, those moments kind of stand out because she really made such an effort. She made my life as normal as possible and really made such an effort to be a good mom regardless of the fact that she had a disability. And so I really think that that shines through. It was February 2014 and my mom got very sick. It was very difficult. We really did think that she might not make it. Um, she was just so frail and not doing well. And, and so we had a lot of difficult discussions, kind of what's the plan from here. And I think the positive of that was that was kind of a wake up call for her realizing that first of all, she needed to take care of herself better. She was spending much of her day sleeping. She was not getting out much. She was very isolated, just content to sleep and stay at home, um, wasn't exercising. Uh, and so I think that, that that kind of scare motivated her, especially when she was doing the physical therapy from inpatient rehab to keep up with it. So she continued with her Tysabri treatments, which I think eventually got her to a very good place in terms of her physical health. Um, and then somehow, and I'm not really, I think, I think my grandmother and a friend had read in the, in the paper about this place where people with MS go to work out. Um, and it was started by a man who has MS himself and he works in like a metal works shop. And so he opens his shop twice a, twice a week in the mornings for maybe three hours at a time to people with multiple sclerosis just to work out. And so um, she finally, I think, decided, okay, I was sick, I need to kind of flip the switch and she started to go. And it's it seriously changed her life. There were many people there who Really, you couldn't tell. We're very fit. They're doing those like 150 bikes and they're running marathons. Um, some people who are just maybe having some like issues with their hands or maybe just like memory things. And other people there who needed three people to stand up. That day, she, the man who runs it, his name is Dan, he suggested, Sue, let's, let's walk. And I know she had tried previously and kind of maybe taken a couple steps, um, assisted or stood for a couple of seconds independently, but this time she walked across the room, so like across the room and all the way back and with no support. Like there was a belt and he was holding that, but otherwise it was completely independent and the best part was that I had never personally seen her walking. So she, my whole life was able to like stand to do things or maybe walk down the hall with like a walker or a cane or holding on, but this was Truly the first time I've ever seen her walk um, independently, and my family included. And so it was, it's been over 25 years, and the community aspect was amazing. Everyone was cheering her on and clapping for her. And I think one of the best parts of it in the aftermath was that I took a video, and she was able to share it with her family, who then shared it on Facebook, and she got all of these positive accolades and was just deservedly proud of herself and continue to motivate her to continue kind of exercising and keeping at it and I think she would like I think now that she knows she can do it she would like to be an independent walker which for me is something that we never thought was possible I think um, what really stood out was that like your mom is such a caretaker for you and sometimes when um, a loved one is sick and it's your parent it's been difficult for her to maybe be that role for me, not like in the traditional sense, she's always been a wonderful mother, but there is always that sense of me knowing that I need to be a little bit more cautious with her, take care of her as well, and 
um, be respectful of that. And I think this was, it was almost like a role reversal to see, like, to see your baby walking, you know, like she's watched me walk my first steps and kind of for me to be able to see that for her was incredible. Like it was just, it was such a proud moment and realizing like, man, this disease is hard, but she's, she's finally pushing through it. And it doesn't really matter that it's 25 years later, however, you know, however long it took that she was able to do that. Well, I think it's important that just in general research is continued for MS. Um, my mom has been sick for so long that she's needed a variety of different treatments over time because eventually you kind of plateau with what you're doing and it's not making a difference and so the fact that new um, treatments, I guess, treatments are available is huge for her. Um, she had been doing plasmapheresis for a very, very long time and it really maintained kind of her baseline but now the Tysabri I think has really boosted her abilities and has kind of taken her to a new baseline which is wonderful. Um, and so the fact that this is a new thing and it's been developed because of the money that's been raised with the MS Foundation, that's a huge benefit. It's so important for people with MS to connect with others and that's something that I've wanted for my mom for a long time and I understand that that needed to be her choice and when she was ready and um, I do wish that she could have realized and connected with others earlier that, you know, the MS Society has great just ways to connect with other people. I know on their website, they have newsletters, even online blogs where if you're not willing to go somewhere, you can't go somewhere, just that you can connect with others. I think my mom has learned so much just sharing information back and forth, like, oh, I put these braces on at night and it's made such a difference, or have you tried eating chia seeds? I mean, like, really basic things that seem silly but are so important, and I feel like that MS community through the MS Society is really, really worth it. Nice job. You're really close. Woohoo!